page here. You can see that I this post here that I made. My friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about step number two of five of the attraction the, uh, the truth about attraction marketing we're going to talk about engaging or creating posting posting every day using words that your target market your target audience is going to resonate with we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so yeah, so if you want a copy of this, you go to Attraction Marketing Truth dot com and get your own copy but today we're going to talk about uh the step number two because this is all about the five whoops how can i put this the five simple steps to getting that sale the five simplest social media organic steps to getting the sale i was actually looking at that because i can't remember anyways yeah so the five simple steps and step number two is posting every day using the words that your audience your target market your avatar is going to resonate with before we go into that though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to check out the video at cis452.jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen I will be showing you more you might not have seen if you didn't see I was actually holding up the ebook during that time when I was telling you to go to attractionmarketingtruth.com so let's get right to it let me just share my screen and show you what I'm talking about okay so let's say we're going to Facebook here where's my screen so let's say you're on Facebook right you scroll through Facebook obviously you can see posts from all sorts of people but why do you see certain posts why do I see certain posts right how does Facebook know what to show me right well there's lots of things that are going on in the uh, social media platform how the platform controls what you see part of it is based on your activities on the feed you what kind of things you post what kind of uh, people you interact with how you connect with them whether you send the messages or not whether you you know comment on them. but the thing is that before you can create content that resonates with your audience words that they will relate to words images that they'll relate to uh, I mean you have to find who they are right you got to figure out who is your audience now in this ebook attraction marketing truth I talk about setting up your profile I talk about posting every day using words ideal prospect I talk about engaging anyways there's other things I talk about in this ebook but the thing is that you got to realize the first thing you got to do no matter what is figuring out who is your avatar I'm sure you've heard that before I mean I know when I started online I was like oh I, I I know who my avatar is I don't need to spend time on it I don't need to figure it out but you know what I didn't spend the time I needed to and I didn't get the results and it's just that's just how it is sure I got some you know followers I got I mean pages with 23,000 followers and I got uh, follow you know followers on Instagram I got uh, TikTok followers 11,000 or so like I got all these followers but they they're not really my target market because I didn't really do the work at the time now I'm doing that but back then when I started I just thought you know what I'm gonna get these numbers and then people are gonna think I'm I'm awesome and they're gonna follow me because I have lots of followers and this and that where you know that kind of mindset which you know is kind of how most of us start the online journey because we see these leaders that have thousands and thousands and even tens of thousands hundreds of thousands a million followers and we think we want to be like them so we want those numbers first we don't you know and, and to be honest leaders will teach you that you need to focus on your avatar focus on your offer before you do anything else right that's what they were going to teach you but most of us anyways I certainly didn't spend enough time and I was like I don't need to do that I can just start I'll just start and I'll figure it out over time and th although that is true you do figure it out over time you waste so much time doing stuff that isn't ideal right all right so now 
how do you how do you come up with posts that resonate right resonate with your ideal prospect like I said first you got to figure out who your ideal prospect is okay let's just actually go and do that a little bit well let's let's just do a search let's do a google search and just do that look look at this how to figure out who your avatar is I don't even know if that what's that going to tell us is going to be about the movie uh defining avatar there you go look at that and and you know what one of the things you'll have to realize is that whatever you search for in Google is also based on your past searches right so I mean if you've never searched for online marketing your results might be about the avatar of the movie right it depends on what but as you can see right here I've got different things here that talk about how to find your ideal customer in three easy steps how do I identify your customer avatar right um guide to creating cu customer avatar and if I look at any of these let's just say I look at this defining your customer avatar who is your ideal client okay this is Ryan Batels I don't know who that is but it's a blog post on how to do that right so I'll just uh so he talks about different things he talks about in more detail like an avatar so here's he's got an avatar right here whole big definition of an avatar but how do you come up with those you know that that definition right how do you build that definition actually actually one of the things I want to do is I want to create and uh, I'm gonna I have to go through this last week I did uh the setting up your profile right I talked about setting up your profile this week it's about creating content that resonates with your avatar but I'm going to keep going through this but I will have an ebook you can ask for me make sure you're on my list to not miss out on this but I will be creating an ebook that gives you uh the best way to figure out who your avatar is right we're just kind of overview governing it just by uh, just like I said I just googled that right so I find this guy then maybe if I look at the other another one that's that's here smith.ai that's actually pretty interesting because smith.ai is an ai it's an ai tool so i'm not sure this is their blog i guess but um but you know they talk about see this smith.ai right obviously it's a this is a blog to kind of encourage people to use their tool which is great i mean i have tools i create blogs to encourage people to use my tools but this is you know um list challenges identify potential objections partner with Smith AI to create effective which by the way you can do with clever AI copy as well um but this is very strict very simple right identifying find the information sources write down the demographics I mean this is a, a simple kind of way to define your avatar here right but it's not going to help you treat the content that your avatar resonates with but before you can create the content that your avatar res resonates with you got to know who your avatar is like for example so I'll give you an example let's say let's do a document here actually I got to go in here let's create a little note document notes and let's go in here okay so I'm gonna bring that over here all right so let's say so how to define avatar right how to define avatar so number one you need to know so first of all I like like those pages I just searched for right so demographics what is demographics right number one demographics number two is uh let's just say dreams and number three is fears so that's really that's the very basics of it right what's their demographics what are their dreams and what are their fears now when I say that it's very well, let's make this a little bit bigger yeah it's really pretty straightforward so demographics you know like you know age whoops age uh gender uh, education um location uh what else uh, family right um things like that demographics is stuff that you can look up in when you when you do an ad and stuff like that in Facebook or things like that where they have these things where they say you know what their what's their oh income level 
income level as well family uh, or relationship I guess instead of relationship so like you know married single parent grandparent you know that kind of thing right location right country state um uh, temper temperature um uh, uh, city suburb country i don't know how you would label that right are they uh, did they live in the country did they live in the city did they live in a big city a small city right maybe population would be what you'd want right anyways education right um uh high school uh university you know drop out right well what uh, what's their education level their gender obviously right male or female male female sexual preference orientation right that kind of stuff just because um that's that might matter to your marketing right age right uh teen young adult uh, middle-aged right of 30 40 60 80 right their age uh, income level poor I guess poverty um uh, what would be the word uh, you'd use right uh, somebody who's uh, below poverty maybe we just say that is, is that your target market right whoops below poverty average above average like 100k 1 mil right whatever right whatever your your uh target is well okay so th that's the demographics demographics is all about their you know their physical attributes that can kind of be quantified in the database right their dreams is what do they want out of life right obviously when you think about a dream you think like well things that you you can't achieve or things that you shouldn't be trying to to achieve or whatever right the dream a dream is usually considered <coughs> by lots of people so excuse me by lots of people a dream would be something that most people would think you can't achieve right uh, like you know it's a dream it's a pipe dream it's a you know you're dreaming in colors right but that's not what I mean by that what I mean by dreams and in, in this case is I mean by aspirations things that people are wanting right what do they want right uh what is their ideal ideal day like right um what do they like what do they like to do right what are their what are their hobbies right uh what else um I don't know I guess I'll have I'll I you know this is just stuff like what is the things that drives them right what are the things that drives them what are, what do they want it to say on their tomb how do you spell tombstone like this tombstone yeah like what you know what do they what would they want people to say about them after they passed right uh what do they want others to think about them right i mean that's that that's the kind of stuff that will define what they want what do they want right do they want to lose weight do they want to have a business do they want to you know live uh down in a warm climate when they're in a cold climate right like that's you know that's an example right if their location is in a cold part like in Canada we're cold in the winter right if their location is Canada and they love the beach and the sun maybe you can talk about traveling to Florida or traveling to Mexico or to you know Aruba or places that are warm talk about those things right that'll that'll connect with somebody who's like that right that's kind of the idea here then the other thing that's super important to talk about is their fears their fears is what are they afraid of obviously but also what do they want to avoid what is it that they they don't like right what do they 
do they want to avoid right uh, what hurts them emotionally right what hurts them emotionally you know what kind of words that they don't like right what are their bad mm, mm, uh, experiences right uh, how well, I guess in what what well I guess inside of dreams right also it's also positive right what causes what gives them them pleasure right when we talk about pleasure we talk about whoops pleasure we talk about you know what do they enjoy doing right like what is it that they feel good about like walking outside in the in in the forest or going for a drive or or looking at expensive cars what is it that gives them you know a pleasure a feeling of good um ha that makes me happy kind of thing right and then uh the opposite too right what gives them pain what is it that gives them pain right let's put this question mark over here so I mean let's save this so that's kind of how you define your avatar as you go through this you kind of answer those questions and put it together and then that gives you your avatar right? it gives you who is it that you're trying to connect with or 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 communicate with right that is the first step you got to figure out what that is who is it that you're trying to connect with right who is it that you're trying to you're gonna sell to right <laughs> you're trying to sell stuff so you know what is the what is the uh what is your avatar like what is this now how do you you know how do you like if I look at this other document I had here let's just actually I'm going to put that in here is this the one here yeah this one here was pretty good he's got an example yeah there you go a poor example right so let's just take this because it's a pretty good I'm going to put it inside my little document here example blog posts so this whoops over here so this guy here he's got a he's got a post about you know uh, a bit here's a detailed avatar this is a detailed avatar really great definition of an avatar and it's basically a, a it's a crazy big avatar right 1680 and this and he feels like he doesn't really have a good grasp on how much he's going to make he's not sure this is uh awesome uh, ryan battles here uh he's a data-driven marketing specialist i don't know what he's about but this is a great uh, great blog post that i probably should be reading right and connecting with um he's got seth godin permission marketing mm -hmm. does it say when he posted this i'm just kind of curious if it's a recent blog post because he got he's basically the number one number one in the google search right I just duplicate this because that's actually something else that's kind of interesting to be able to do is if you're actually doing look at this I did a search for how to figure out who your avatar is right there's another one here and but he came up as this one I don't know why right I mean obviously it's because he's SEO if you don't know what SEO is it's basically how you uh, organize your blog post so that it's uh, found in the search engines right so why is this uh, uh, I'd have to do more research but that's something that you can do too you can help your um help Google find you first right based on the the wording that the person does for search obviously if I search something else right what is my avatar how to define how to describe oh I see avatar movie look at that anyways I don't want to get into that what I want to talk about is what we said a second ago what are we doing we're creating okay so let's just this is what we need here and I have that right here so this is going to be there you go so there so now post every day with your prospect in mind right so that's basically attraction marketing truth two of five right so we want to post every day with your prospect in mind before you can post every day well I mean first of all posting every day you can do it lots of different ways right I mean if I if I just go to say Facebook 
and I just one of the things I do right I scroll through Facebook feed and I and I look through well actually that's not true I'm lying I don't scroll through Facebook food at least almost never do I use a tool called active group so I'm going to show you what that is I use a tool called active group users and then I just basically um let it find users for me and I it gives me a list of who who's supposed to engage with so that I don't have to <coughs> randomly just randomly use Facebook right so as you can see I got a list of people here I actually just click on their name here let's say two days ago I'm just gonna go find the ones that I've visited at least six days ago let's just do that da, 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 da. I'm just gonna do six right here and I'm just gonna find at least people that I've visited six days ago and then I then what I do is I just go to their profile I click on their name and it gives me a, a summary of their of their uh, information and then I just go to their profile now by clicking their name so that way I don't have to go and scroll through Facebook right I just go here and I find the uh, I find their post and I look at what they're what they're posting and I will comment on their posts in this case I've already done that right I've already commented on this over here uh, so that's that's kind of all I do I go here and then I and sometimes what will happen and this is kind of how I find my post ideas because my avatars are the ones um that I'm going to visit their profile right so I go to this profile here and I comment on the post so I might have a post right here if I look at these comments the one I did right I bet it will be close well that's probably not a good example um, but let's say I see a post like this right and I see a post and I make a comment down here maybe I really wrote this right how do we not get a photo that means I gotta see you soon to get an update let's say that that was something I posted then I might go to my own page right my own profile not my profile I mean Facebook itself right and I might just go and post up a new you know I might just take that and just post that that gives me an idea for a post because I basically looked at a comment I made and that comment was meant to connect with some of my avatars right so why would that not be a good idea for a post like if I go back to my own page here you can see that I this post here that I made that's actually a post that's based on a comment I made on somebody else's post and um and like the like no not this one but this one here right remember that it's harder to so you know this post here I got 21 comments not a whole lot but still better than lots of people when they're starting out right um and even somebody who's been uh, like for for a long time right I mean I I I get ideas from comments on other people's posts that's because because those people are my avatars because I use this tool to go find the people that I'm actually uh following the people that I'm following I'm following them because they're my avatar and I'm commenting on their stuff because they're my avatar so obviously they're gonna have posts and comments that they relate to because it's them right so that's kind of that's kind of how you do it so uh let's go back to this document here now the next thing you can do the other thing is you want to oh it's over here this thing okay the other thing is you want to post so you want to post every day right now I'm not saying you post every day um because because posting every day depends on your your target you can post once a week you can post every two three times a week you can post every single day you can post five times in a day it's really up to you but on Facebook the average is one every day or two right and the secret is that if you do post that often you do have to make sure that you're engaging and you're reacting and you're commenting on the uh, 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 responding to the comments and things like that because that's super important for the Facebook algorithm um, but I mean if you use a tool like this at least you're following along to people's you're going back to their profiles after you've seen them and you kind of keep track of like you know if I look at the uh, uh, I don't know it doesn't matter who right Sharon over here you can see that I visited her 
over here it shows me that I visited 16 times in the last 407 days it shows 8 days 32 days 41 47 55 66 right so I've been following her and commenting on their stuff for this much time and that's kind of how that that's kind of what the tool lets you do it lets you figure out who you've who's next right who have you not visited in a while you you can use a tool to get that list but the point is that you're engaging on your you're on the right prospects now if you just use the news feed that's fine you can learn with the news feed as well just go and comment on the news feed items uh but but you know that's not the point the point was just if you want to create content it has to be speaking to your avatar that's what we've been talking about right speaking to your avatar how does that speak to your avatar is well I'll start by making sure you know who your avatar is know who your avatar is. then when you create a post you're going to say well you know whatever their education level is you might say well am I speaking at the level of education that person has that my avatar has if not then you adjust your you know content the next thing you can do if you want to figure out content if you want to figure out posts that makes sense to your avatar is using an AI tool right okay so there's a tool that I again a tool I created clever AI copy now if you want uh free access to this um clever AI copy you can get free access here oh that's very interesting that that actually shows up in the search wow bonus clever AI copy wow I didn't even that's that's impressive sorry I'm I'm I've impressed myself because I did a search for it here and it shows up right there but anyways we just want to go to the website cleveraicopy.com so that website lets you create different kinds of content based on using it uses chat uh, gpt uh, you know that whole thing that everybody's talking about and basically what you can do is you can go to ad hoc here or actually let's go to uh let's go to doo -doo -doo -doo, letter creator let's just say start a new letter i'm going to say i want a oh first i gotta set my avatar so my avatar right here I've got an avatar right here it's an online marketer it's a very simple avatar that I've defined right here I just define the avatar I want I want to set the tone of the um informative let's say I want to set the education level of the uh to let's say grade three and then I want to set the avatar to this now right now the avatar is that it could be better obviously uh if I went through all those questions I can actually build an avatar that's a lot more specific but then I can I say a letter type I want to create a a post if social post and I want to have I don't know uh 100 words no not even 100 let's make it 30 words and I don't I don't need to worry about who it's addressed for so let's just do that and that'll give me a short little post uh I don't even know right because it'll be based on the avatar I selected and it'll just say dear online, online marketer are you looking for an easy way to manage your social media so I could actually take this and post it as a post now there's going to be improvements to the to this tool that'll let me do more things but let's just say I want to create a post like this I'm going to go over here I'm going to go like that and are you looking for you know, we've got the perfect solution a platform you know, you know, that the platform can play schedule with our platform oh that's very interesting anyway this is uh, that's not that's not what I want because that's that's uh, it's inventing things right whenever you don't give chat GPT or clever AI copy enough information it'll just make up stuff so you got to be careful just uh, so I'm not going to bother posting this but I kind of want to give you an idea or kind of show you a little bit there is a there are some improvements that I'm putting in there for example you'll actually be able to do a, um, a social post right here there'll be a social post option as well you see these little little options like if I just go to chat here I want to say write me a short Facebook post to talk about online marketing and defining your avatar let's see what that tells us I'm just going to do this and that's such that's the chat the chat mode basically 
online marketing, what's important to find the whether you're selling product or services, having clear understanding who's your ideal customer is and what motivates them is essential. And then uh, make it address address it to a single person. Let's see what that does. So that's kind of the stuff you can do. Like, by the way, if you want to go to, you want a copy of, uh, if you want to use Clever AI, you can actually go to this site, bonus.cleverai.com. That'll give you 90 days free use. Um, and if you want to have the uh, Active Group Users tool, you would go to AGU right here. You would go to activegroupusers.com where you can actually get that, uh, you can get a 14 day trial or, um, there's other other bonuses you can get too if you get on my list you might um, um, it depends on what's going on but yeah you might be able to get that too all right so that's the thing are you looking to increase your reach so that's basically how you create content for your avatar you got to define who they are and then you got to you know post regularly and if you want you can use tools to improve your time to, to to save you time right instead of you having to rack your brain you can use tools to generate for you and you can use tools to tell you who's po who's supposed to visit who's supposed to engage on all that is possible and uh, if you have any questions you can always reach out until next time this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.